Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user reached out saying, hey, how can I take this logo and make it round so I can put it on the front of a bike? Friends, I've got an idea, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so the first thing I want to do is make this thicker so I have some more room to play with it. So I'm going to ungroup it, and I'm just going to make this base thicker. So I'm stretching that crazy high. Gives me a little bit more room to play with. And then I'm going to click on these letters, and I'm going to put the work plane back here. And now I can pop these back up. So there's D to drop. I'm going to do D to drop. And I'm going to do D to drop. Now my get doesn't quite pop out anymore, so I'm going to shrink that a little, raise my get up, and then I'm going to raise that up one more click so they're all the same. So now I've got more room to play with this. I can still group it all. So there's my control G to group. Did not measure. Once again, this is all going to be guess and check. I'm going to put the work plane back down the ground, and that's going to be where I start to play. Now making it round involves a couple steps. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim underneath it so it's round. I'm going to bring out a whole cylinder, make it 64, rotate it 90 degrees, and then I'm just going to shift stretch it till it's about the size of my shape. Once again, all guess and check. The one thing I do want to make sure is I want to make sure that I'm longer than the design. Now I can use the cone to push it below. And you can see that's going to cut underneath it. I'm going to select them both and hit a line and see if I like that. I want it to be totally round, so I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Once again, shift, but this time I'm going to do alt shift. So it goes around the shape. And now when I push it under, you can see I can get that so it cuts right to the edge. Now it goes a little higher than I want, so I'm going to lower it down. And I'm going to do that alt shift one more time to make sure I get out to these edges. There's my alt and shift. And I like that. I just got to get it down so it's right at that cutting edge. So now I've got a little bit of room up here for the layer that's going to be left. That is step one, friends. Here is step two. I'm going to set my snap grid to 0.25. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to take this one I just built and I'm going to turn it orange for a minute or yellow so we can see it's different. I'm going to go control up to raise it up four clicks, which was one whole millimeter. And then I'm going to do alt shift to make it just a tiny bit larger. Once again, guess and check. All right, friends, to grab onto these, it's smart if we make one a little shorter. So I'm going on the one that was yellow, and I'm going to make it so that it pokes through. Now I can click on the first one I made, and I'm going to lock it. That way it does not get caught up in the next thing that I do. I'm going to hide my shape. I'm going to bring out a cube, and then this cube is going to be the mold. I want to make sure that I stretch it longer. I'm grabbing that black handle. And then I also want to make sure it is aligned. So I'm going to click align. I want the middle parts to stay. And then I'm going to group. And it says three shapes, but it really was two shapes. And you can see it cut out that round area. This one right here is the one that is locked. You can see if I click on it, it did not do anything. It's ready for the next part. And then I can take this one and turn it into a hole. So you can see I've got two holes that are going to cut. If we do show all, you can see our design is in the middle. Friends, this is where the fun stuff happens. Take your bottom part and unlock it. Grab your entire project. And friends, once you hit group, give it a moment to finish. And friends, after a few minutes, it will group and you will have your design that is now rounded and ready to put on the front of your bike. Now we do have a problem here. These letters are floating so they won't stay together. Let me show you how we're going to make a piece that sits in back so that they stay where they're supposed to. Friends, we're going to start by just doing control D, taking the whole set over here, and then we're going to ungroup it. I'm going to hide this piece right here, and then I'm going to get rid of my letters. That's really all I want to do so that I can get this thin layer all the way through. So when I ungroup, I can hit delete, delete, and delete. And I'm going to delete this section as well because I don't need it. I'm going to do one more ungroup, and I'm going to take this hole, and I'm going to raise it up. And I just want it cutting in a little bit. I don't need as much as I had before. I'm going to take those two items and I'm going to group them. So you can see now it's going to be plenty high enough for this part of the cutting. When I bring those two back, 
I can now select them and group them and we have just cut out the sweet little piece that we're going to put underneath this. Let's grab the two of them, choose a line and I'm going to click on this and choose center and center. And then if I click on the underneath one, I can do control down and lower it so that it creates the relief of my other project. Friends, as you can see, this was all guess and check. I could have done this a little better, maybe raising these and lowering these. Let's real quickly go back and fix that. I'm going to take my bottom one and I'm going to lock it and I'm going to hide it. I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to hide the top piece. I'm going to hide the bottom piece. I'm going to click on this again and I'm going to ungroup it. And remember this get Kraken is just too large. So I'm just going to shrink it in just like that. I'm also going to take both of these and I'm going to raise them up a little higher just because it does not hurt anything. Now when I regroup these, everything should fit a little better. I'm going to do show all. The parts underneath are locked so I can simply grab this and group this and even though that other part we built is sitting there it does not matter it was underneath and now you can see the let's get cracking turned out pretty darn sweet friends just for fun I'm gonna unlock that one underneath and I'm gonna make it a different color just cuz it will look that much more cool friends hopefully you can see that in this tutorial there was a ton of guess and check the idea was simply to create a mold on the top and a mold on the bottom to cut it to the cool shape and then I just kept playing till I got what I want of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.